Hey guys, Vilma here from Vilma's Book Blog, and I've been reading loads of YA lately, and so I thought I would do a kind of fun little recap of recent reads um, in the young adult category of books that I've really enjoyed. Um, and so I have a stack of books in front of me, and I thought I would grab them one by one and tell you a little bit about them. They're from various genres within the category, so hopefully you can find um, one that you'll enjoy. I know that a lot of people that read new adult and adult romance are kind of hesitant to give um, the YA category a try, but I urge you to give it a try. Maybe um, listen to them on Audible. Um, you'll find that a lot of these storylines are really original, really um, differently, um, uniquely written um, with some really kind of compelling and unforgettable storylines. So look for one that kind of calls to you um, as I kind of quickly go through some of my favorite um, reads of late. So the first one is um, The Daughter of Smoke and Bone from the Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. There's three books. The first is The Daughter of Smoke and Bone. The second is um, Days of Blood and Starlight. And the third one is uh, Dreams of Gods and Monsters. So this is a really thick one. Um, it's a story about um, a really, you know, forbidden kind of romance. There's battles and there's fantasy and supernatural elements. And it's really um, uniquely written. So it really kind of grips you from the very beginning. Um, and it's really, really well done. So give those a try. Um, the second one is the um, Shadow and Bone um, uh, book. It's the Grisha Trilogy by Leigh Bardugo. Um, the first one is Shadow and Bone. The second one is Siege and Storm. And then the last book, which recently came out, is Ruin and Rising. So um, this is a, a kind of a, a fantastical type of um, a series. Um, and it's really, uh, again, very, very unique. Um, really addictive. There's lots of, of action um, in it. And um, I am only, I'm done with the first book, so I need to start the second book, and I really enjoyed it so far. So um, this is a good one and a very uh, different one to give a try as well, too. Um, the second um, set of books, I recently did a video review of these, and gosh, I, I mean, I absolutely love these. Um, I'm looking for my first book. It's somewhere in one of these stacks. But um, it's um, The Girl of Fire and Thorns, so absolutely one of my favorite, favorite um, high fantasy books. Um, love, love, it's, it's really a perfect series. It's so well done. The pacing is absolutely incredible. Um, there's three books, The Girl of Fire and Thorns. Um, the second one is um, The Crown of Embers. And the third one is uh, The Bitter Kingdom. So very much kind of an adventure um, fantasy type of book. Um, there's romance, which is very um, hard-earned in this one. Takes a while um, for her to reach her happily ever after. Um, the heroine is completely awesome. I mean, she goes from being kind of this quirky, funny girl who um, doesn't really see her strengths, and she transforms into, transforms into this kick-ass, you know, warrior ruler um, by the end of it. I absolutely love this series. I want to listen to it again. I listen to these on Audible. So, 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 so good on Audible. They're narrated by Jennifer Ikeda, which is my favorite um, Audible narrator. So give those a try. Definitely highly recommend those. Um, I think most people have read this one. Um, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Um, it's just a really kind of um, unique story that, um, you know, she does such a good job of basically um, tapping into that time in our lives where, uh, you know, first love and, um, you know, holding hands is the biggest deal in the world and, and, and falling in love with a boy and finding something in common. And it's kind of these two misfits that find each other. And it's just really well done, really um, also very different. I mean, that's one of the things about um, a lot of these books in this category, whereas sometimes there is a lot of very similar storylines in new adult and in adult romance. A lot of these storylines are really very unique. So anyway, love um, Rainbow Rowell and love this story. Um, the second series is um, one that I absolutely love. So the, uh, the first book is The Poison Princess, the second one is Endless Night, and the third one, um, which I'm not sure is going to be the final one or not, is A Dead of Winter, and Dead of Winter is probably one of mo my most anticipated books um, of next year. It comes out early next year, 
and it's a really, really, I know I sound like a broken record, um, original storyline, but it's based on the tarot card deck. So the whole story is based on the tarot and it takes place, um, uh, it's kind of like a post-apocalyptic storyline. Um, so it's a little bit dystopian, a little bit supernatural, um, and a little bit of a romance triangle and team death. But um, it's really, really, really well done by Cressley Cole. I love this series. Um, this one I definitely recommend that you try it on Audible. Um, the narrator is just um, awesome and perfect for what the story calls for. So really, really, really addictive. I mean, I just consumed and devoured these. So very good. Um, the next series is um, the Anna and the French Kiss series. Hopefully you guys have read those as well by Stephanie Perkins. There's three books. Um, Anna and the French Kiss. I love these covers, by the way. Um, the second book is Lola and the Boy Next Door. And the third book is Isla and the Happily Ever After. Um, again, such beautiful covers. I love them. And Stephanie Perkins does um, a great job, again, of tapping into kind of first love. Um, each of the characters in the books are just really great, interesting, kind of unforgettable characters. It's funny because everybody kind of has a favorite um, guy in, or couple um, in the trilogy, but I love them, all, all three of them, for different reasons. And they're sweet and just wonderful to read. Um, so give these a try. Romance. Um, the next is a recent read um, that I also did a video review on is Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. This is just um, a really poignant story um, about love and loss and finding yourself. And um, it has to, it's a story of two girls um, who live centuries apart. Um, Andy uh, struggles with uh, dealing with the loss of her brother, uh, tragic loss of her brother Truman. And she finds the diary of a girl that lived in revolutionary France. And she finds that she identifies with her. And so we get to kind of live through um, both girls' uh, perspective on what's going on around them and how they deal with um, their emotions and try and give their life meaning. It's just really, really moving and really, really, um, uh, I feel like there's like a, a, a significant message to it. So it's one that definitely kind of lingers well after you're done. Really, really well done. Um, next one is um, the Shatter Me series by Tahara Mafi. Um, I love these books. I mean, I read the first book and I thought it was great. And then I read the second book. And I mean, after that, it was just, I, I couldn't get enough of them. It was, I, I just um, devoured them. So there are, um, one, two, three, four, there's actually five books in the series. So Shatter Me is first. And then um, there is uh, Destroy Me and Facture Me. But in paperback, you get them in one book. Um, which is uh, Unite Me, um, and then Unravel Me is the second uh, full-length novel, and then the last one is Ignite Me, which is one of the um, really better ends to a trilogy, um, you know, a trilogy one, I mean, you know, the three full-length novels and the two novellas, but of a series that you'll find. So really, really good. She does a really um, good job of kind of flipping what you think of the characters, and the writing is just um, completely unique. She has a very um, original writing style, which um, I loved. So um, if you're looking for some addictive kind of dystopian reads, this is a great uh, series to try. And speaking of addictive, um, the other series, which I absolutely love, which is totally like creepy and creeptastic, as I call it, um, incredibly addictive um, and suspenseful, is the Mara Dyer series. Um, there's three books in the series. Um, the first one is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. Um, the second one is The Evolution of Mara Dyer, which I left on my bookshelf. Um, and the third one is coming um, November 4th and is one of my most uh, highly anticipated books of the year because I still don't know what the heck is going on with the series. I have no idea. I'm really good at guessing what's going on and I just, I have no clue. Um, so this is uh, a YA romance suspense kind of novel. Um, it's, it's crazy, it's so good. So definitely give this one a try. You will love it. It's a good one to try in the month, during the month of October. And then, um, the last one is my most uh, recent video review. 
um, The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. I mean, this book is beautiful. It's uh, uh, really poignant and um, really well done. And um, I don't have a bad thing to say about it. So um, definitely give this one a try. It's, it's a story um, of a girl who's kind of dealing with the loss of her sister as well. And um, it's about falling in love and um, really about relationships between sisters and uh, between a boy and a girl and um, even between kind of family members. It's, it's so beautiful, so poetic, um, and is kind of my last YA read. Um, that I've read. So anyway, urge you to give YA a try. Um, really beautiful original um, books. There are so many more that I've yet to discover, so many more that I'm sure you guys have already um, fallen in love with that I need to find out um, and love as well. So um, give YA a try and I hope you love these books. Bye!